Hey class, uh, yesterday I taught you a couple different ways to round a number and those might have worked for you. Uh, if they didn't, here's another way that you can round a number. So say you have a number of 8,591, okay? And you're rounding it to the hundreds place. Notice that the hundreds place is underlined. So this is what you would do. You would look at the number, the, the place value you are rounding to, and then the number to the right. And you would circle both those. And then you would take that over on a number line from, and you would make it from 50 to 60 because 59 is in between 50 and 60. So you would put it on a number line and you would look where 59 would be. Well, if you count 51, 52, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So 59 would be right there on the number line. And you can look on this number line, which is it closer to? Is it closer to 60 or is it closer to 50? Well, it's closer to 60. So you would change that to a 60 and then the eight would stay the same because you're not changing that at all. And then the rest, all the numbers to the right would go to zero, which is just one digit, the ones place. So this would be your answer, 8,600. So 8,591 would round to 8,600. And that's how you get your answer. So you can use it, uh, you can use rounding the way I did yesterday. I showed you two different ways using the rounding roller coaster uh, and the little saying, uh, uh, four or more, or no, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. Uh, so you can use that little saying, or you can use a number line and count on a number line and do rounding that way. All right, have fun doing your rounding problems. All right, bye.